Right guys, so I thought I'd do a, a web tutorial for you um, to just show you how you could use this uh, website layout. Um, basically I'm just going to create uh, the website here that is on flipstudio.org. Um, some of the things might be a little bit confusing for you so I thought I'd just quickly do a video tutorial using it. Um, so I'm just going to start off Start a new canvas. I'll new. I'm choosing to make my canvas a little bit smaller than what the tutorial specified, um, just because of my screen size. So I've gone for uh, 1,450 wide and high. So they'll make a nice square box for us. I'll just start that. I'm going to go in and start to lay down some guides. So I'll go view new. I'll put in a, a vertical guide here. I'll go out to about uh, 300. View new, I'll put in another one. This one, I want it to be 300 from the edge. Um, and my, artwork, my website will be about 850. So I'll make this 1105 by zero. And looks nice. I'll now put in our banner that's going to go up the top. Um, I'll make that a horizontal new guide and I'll make it about 250. Looks good. I'll insert a new guide. This one I also want to be horizontal for our navigation system so I'll make that about 300 down from the top. So we'll have the the banner up here, we'll have our navigation system there, the main content's going to sort of go in there. The only other one that I want to put in there, new guide, is another vertical guide. I'll make this one 600, I'll make it a little bit larger than what Flip uh, recommended in the tutorial. And now essentially we've got our, our page laid out. Go down to the rounded rectangle tool. I'm just going to start to draw in some of our boxes. You should notice that our boxes will basically snap to the guides. So this is why we use guides to lay out our website. It just helps us to be able to quickly draw up boxes and change the color here. Draw another guide for the background. I won't go all the way down. Probably go to about 800 down. I'm just looking on the left hand side there. And I'll just change that to a, a lighter colour as well. And finally, I'll draw the side panel. So I'll just go in there. So I won't go all the way down, I'll just leave a little bit of room. Alright, and change that colour, make it nice and dark. It's very contrasting. Excellent. That's basically our, our layout mapped out. What I'm going to do now is turn off the guides. So I'll just go to Extras under View and just click that to turn it off. I'm now going to move some of my objects on the stage down a little bit just to give ourselves a bit of room. So holding down the Shift key and using the arrows on the keyboard, I'm just going to move down once with that, I'll grab the navigation and I'll move that down a couple. So there'll be a couple uh, spaces down. Go to the main area, just move that down a couple as well. So it's starting to get a little bit of space around our graphics. And one more over, that looks nice and neat. So I'll zoom into 100% so you can have a look at what I've done. Yeah, looks pretty good, not bad. Okay, so the next thing to do is to style this. Horizontal bar, just go over to the gradient, I'll click on that. Flip chose a nice pink colour, so I'll go with that. It's choosing hot pink. Click OK. Double click again. For pink colour, I'll go for a lighter pink. So, yeah. Gonna grab that layer. Drag it down, 
I'm going to right click on it, rasticize that layer. So I just made a copy and then I've rasticized it. I'm going to double, go over here. I'm going to try to cut it in half. I might need to grab a little bit more off that. And just delete that bottom part and select. Go inside the layer styles, reverse it. That looks about right. Click OK. I've set the blend mode to normal, by the way. Just make sure that you're doing that. I'm going to start to reduce the opacity down on this. Whoops, not the fill. Opacity of the layer. Let's see. For the colors that I've used, about 40 looks looks to be about right. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more here. Where's this layer pad? Yeah, that looks about right. That's good. All right, so now we've got our navigation sorted. We'll move on to the next part. Go for the background layer. Um, color overlay. I'm going to change that to white. I'm going to style mine a little bit different to flips. I'm going to choose a back shadow. This I'll set to a distance of zero. Looks about right. Looks okay. It's good. Um, oh, one other thing that I should have done to the navigation is merge those two layers. So I've just shift clicked to click both of the layers, right click again, and I'll merge, merge the layers. And I'll give that a layer style. I'll go for black. Let's change the color there. All right, change that to normal. You should see you get, yeah, nice. Oops. Z. Looks better. And the last thing I'll do is just resize this panel here. Once again, to resize, all I did was do Control T, and that brought up the transform uh, tool. Or you could go to where is it in here? Edit. Transform, retransform. Just gonna double click on that. Double click on the layer style. Color overlay again. Uh, red's a bit much. So go for a soft yellow. Click OK. I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Just dragging it down to duplicate it, making sure that my uh, black arrow is selected. Shift and using the arrow keys, just push that duplicated layer down a little bit. Bring that down to zero. Looks about right. It's nice and symmetrical. And now it's just a matter of adding text, basically. So do that. Go to the text tool. Load. I've got Helvetica as a font that I'll use. So I'm just going to say home um, about this contact. Contact. Yes. I might make double spacing in between my words. Give a bit of space. Products. One, two, services. That should be enough. Get the black arrow. Just move this in now. I'm going to try to line the H up with the, this, this panel here and also the, the change of gradient that we've got happening in our vector graphic. Bit more accurate. Bring that down. 